English Grade 6. Quarter 3, Module 6. Composing clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures, order and degrees of regular and irregular adjectives. At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Compose clear and coherent sentences using the order and degrees of regular and irregular adjectives, and 2. Arrange adjectives in correct order to compose meaningful sentences. A. Choose the correct form of adjective inside the box. Write your answer in your answer sheet. 1. The outbreak of coronavirus is so far the blank pandemic that has hit the world. A. Bad. B. Worst. C. Worst. 2. Bonaway Rice Terraces is the blank visited Philippine tourist destination according to the Department of Tourism, 2018. A. Much. B. More. C. Most. 3. The Pacific Ocean is blank, then the Arctic Ocean. A. Deep. B. Deeper. C. Deepest 4. My own volcano is a blank, volcano for me. A. Majestic. B. More majestic. C. Most majestic 5. Observation of proper hygiene is the blank, precautionary measure against COVID-19. A. Good. B. Better. C. Best. B. Rewrite the sentences in your answer sheet. Put the adjectives in their correct order. 1. I bought a blank, skirt, long, silk, black, fashionable, 2. She met blank, friends, new, 2, Japanese, 3. There was blank, dog outside the house, terrifying, A, huge, black, 4. Mrs. De La Cruz bought blank, plates for the picnic, plastic, small, red, several, 5. This morning, I received blank, box for my birthday, silver, tiny, A, beautiful. Composing clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures, order and degrees of regular and irregular adjectives. Coherence also means clarity of expression and it is created when correct vocabulary and grammar are used. After all, the goal of writing is to benefit the readers. Without coherence and clarity of ideas, readers may detect choppiness in the text and feel as if there are gaps in the ideas presented. Needless to say, texts without coherence are difficult to read and understand. It defeats the whole purpose of writing, which is to relay ideas in a clear and efficient manner. One strategy to ensure coherence and clarity in sentences writing is using appropriate grammatical structures such as adjectives. Basically, adjectives are used in describing something. In English, Established phrase structure rules place no limit on the number of adjectives in a sentence. They, however, cannot occur in just any order, and native English speakers have very particular disciplines about what order is more correct. Different types of words occupy different positions in a sentence. Nouns usually go at the beginning of a sentence and adjectives should ideally precede a noun. Here are some examples of adjectives that can occur either before or after a noun, but their positioning has an effect on the meaning of a sentence. Pick out the adjective that describes the underlying noun in each sentence. Write your answer in your answer sheet. 1. One of the scariest villains of the movie Panda is Lizardo. 2. COVID-19 is indeed a communicable disease that can be transmitted through respiratory droplets. 3. Old people easily contract virus because of their poor immune system. 4. Cell phones and computers are necessary for online classes. 5. You can develop fun hobbies while learning and studying at home. 6. Martha wore a beautiful hat to the pie eating contest. 7. Furry dogs may overheat in the summertime. 8. My cake should have 7 candles. 9. Frontliners are the new heroes during this time of pandemic. 10. 
an act of kindness was shown to the poor people during the two-month lockdown. Read and study the sentences in each paragraph carefully. Take note of the underlined adjectives. A. The coin is heavy. The gem is heavier than the coin. But, the magnet is the heaviest of the three. What have you noticed about the adjectives? What suffix is added in the adjective used in the second sentence? What about in the adjective in the third sentence? B. Coins are difficult to find. Magnets are more difficult to find than coins. Gems are the most difficult to find among them all. How about in paragraph B, what was added to the adjective in the second sentence? What about in the adjective in the third sentence? To better understand the ideas, read further the explanation that follows. Paragraph A. Heavy, is an adjective in the positive degree. Heavier, is an adjective in the comparative degree. Heaviest, is an adjective in the superlative degree. Paragraph B. Difficult, is an adjective in the positive degree. More difficult, is an adjective in the comparative degree. Most difficult, is an adjective in the superlative degree. It is important to focus on coherence when writing at the sentence level. One way to achieve this is to observe coherence and clarity of ideas and sentences through the use of adjectives. Failure to do this will make our readers confused and eventually disinterested in reading our sentences. Your ideas then become lost and the primary objective of writing is not achieved. There are three degrees of comparison of adjectives. Positive degree offers no comparison. It is the normal form of an adjective. Comparative degree is used when two persons, places or things are compared. E, R, or more is added to adjectives in comparative degrees. Superlative degree is used when three or more persons, places, or things are compared. E, S, T, or most is added to adjectives in superlative degrees. Adjectives formed by adding E, R, or more, in comparative degree and E, S, T, or most in superlative degree are called regular adjectives. Some adjectives do not follow the E, R, or more or E, S, T, or most pattern. They form their comparative and superlative forms in a special way. Common errors that one must not do in comparing adjectives. Use of double comparatives and superlative. Example. Incorrect. Virtue is more dearer to me than wealth. Correct. Virtue is dearer to me than wealth. Note, we should use only one comparative. Using two adjectives for the same person or thing. When we use two adjectives to refer to the same entity, person slash thing, they must be in the same degree. Example. Incorrect. Gretchen is the smartest and intelligent staff of this company. Correct. Gretchen is the smartest and most intelligent staff of this company. When describing people, places, animals, or objects, several adjectives may be used to create more vivid picture. There should be a correct order of adjectives when they are used in a series. Notice how they should be arranged. Examples The three pretty old Italian ladies tried the new restaurant in town. The last two big round red plastic plates were already sold. Father bought me a cute Maltese puppy. Independent Activity 1 Write the adjective used in each sentence in your answer sheet, then write whether it is in positive, comparative, or superlative degree. 1 who is the most attentive pupil in your group. 2. 
My sister is the tallest girl in class. 3. The room is clean. 4. You have an excellent performance during the contest. 5. City is the most playful among my sheets of dogs. 6. An experienced teacher has less error than a neophyte. 7. Yolanda was the worst typhoon I have ever experienced. 8. Try to read better books than those. 9. What is the best song you have ever heard? 10. Juan has many toys. Independent Assessment 1. Underline the correct degree of comparison for each adjective. Example. I find mathematics, hard, harder, hardest, than science. 1. Mount Everest is the, high, higher, highest, mountain in the world. 2. COVID-19 patients show, tolerance, more tolerance, most tolerance, in suffering from pain. 3. This pandemic teaches us to become, strong, stronger, strongest, to overcome struggles. 4. Young millennials uses their time at home to be, productive, more productive, most productive, today than any other season due to pandemic. 5. Airplane travels, fast, faster, fastest, than helicopter. 6. Eric is the, good, better, best, swimmer in the swimming competition. 7. James is a, bad, worse, worst, dancer. 8. Bianca has, little, less, least, working experience for the desired job. 9. His cousin, Ben has, many, more, most, friends than him. 10. Hera is the, good, better, best, athlete in the school. Independent Activity 2. Read the following sentences. Choose the correct order of adjectives to complete each sentence. Write your answer in your answer sheet. 1. Andrea wore blank, in her hair in the birthday party. A bow nice yellow. B nice bow yellow. C nice yellow bow. D yellow nice bow. 2. She lost her blank, given by her father. A cat small white. B small white cat. C small cat white. D white small cat. 3. I bought blank, oranges. A big great some. B great some big. C some big great. D some great big. 4. We met blank, people at the conference. A smart very too. B too very smart. C very smart too. D very too smart. 5. The clown was wearing a lank, hat. A big green yellow. B big green and yellow. C green big and yellow. D yellow and green big. 6. The cookies that you like. A baked smell delicious. B baked delicious smell. C delicious smell baked. D smell delicious baked. 7. Is it blank? A cold getting outside. B cold outside getting. C getting cold outside. D getting outside cold. 8. The course you are blank. A interesting sounds taking. B sounds interesting taking. C taking interesting sounds. D taking sounds interesting. 9. My uncle wore a blank to the wedding. A blue silk tie. B silk blue tie. C tie blue silk. D tie silk blue. 10. Have you met that blank next door? A cute boy new. B cute new boy. C new cute bot. D new boy cute. Independent Assessment 2. Arrange each series of adjectives in correct order to modify the given noun. 
Write your answer in your answer sheet. 1. Dinner, Chinese, porcelain plate. 2. Long stem, American, yellow, seven tulips. 3. Lavender, three, wide brimmed hats. 4. Yellow, sweet, three bananas. 5. A. Red, small, silk skirt. 6. Diamond, rare, two rings. 7. Gold, big, three trophies. 8. Black, few, expensive shoes. 9. Fresh, big, some, red apples. 10. 5. Filipino, delicious dishes. Independent Activity 3. Write the correct sequence of adjectives in parenthesis in your answer sheet. 1. Dana Wolf, a quadriplegic, clenches his paintbrush between his teeth as he dabs hues of green onto his rectangular, white, small, canvas. 2. Tony and Liza went to the supermarket to buy large, fresh, ten, red apples. 3. As he paints, Dana moves his head forward, dipping his paintbrush into old and clay faded jar of water. 4. He makes slight a slanted twist so that his face is now a foot from the canvas. 5. As a responsible young Filipino concerned citizen. You can help support Filipino quadriplegics by buying or endorsing the cards and calendars they paint. 6. The accident left him with spinal, a critical injury and doctors told him he could never walk. 7. After unforgettable, that traumatic experience, Dana decided that he would not be a burden to other people. 8. He joined a, an, international, unique, organization known as the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists. 9. The association raises funds for its programs and projects by reproducing the, extraordinary, glowing, awe-inspiring, handiwork of mouth and foot painting artists. 10. He was hit by a car while riding his bicycle on, dim, a, narrow, Downhill, path. Independent Assessment 3. Arrange the following words slash phrases to make a good sentence. Write the sentences in your answer sheet. 1. Black hair cut I my short head curly. 2. Please the new pots with an heap. 3. Be large plastic poured container the sugar in A. 4. Adore the young Korean handsome many girls singer. 5. Gave friend to my little me pillows soft. Write true in your answer sheet if the statement is correct and false if it is not. 1. Adjectives formed by adding er slash more in comparative degree and estate slash. Most in superlative degree are called regular adjectives. 2. We can use more than one adjective to describe a person, thing, or place. 3. The positive degree is used when two persons, things, places, or events are compared. 4. Adjectives are words that replace nouns. 5. Series of adjectives can be used in any order. 6. The superlative degree shows comparison to the highest degree. 7. He ran the fastest among the boys. This sentence is incorrect. 8. Determiners usually come first in series of adjectives. 9. When we use two adjectives to refer to the same entity, person slash thing, they must be in the same degree. 10. More or er is added to adjectives in superlative degree. Katie's birthday. Katie is telling her best friend all about what she got for her birthday. 
above each noun, help her by writing two adjectives that could describe it. Why you don't like chocolates? B. I'd like good three reasons why you don't like chocolates. C. I'd like reasons good three why you don't like chocolates. D. I'd like three good reasons why you don't like chocolates. 6. Which adjective will complete the sentence, Cora is the blank, girl? In the class? A. Intelligent. B. More intelligent. C. Most intelligent. D. Most intelligent. 7. Which sentence uses the positive degree of adjective? A. She has the bluest eyes I've ever seen. B. This book is more interesting than that one. C. The story we heard last week was interesting. D. This is one of the most interesting stories I've ever heard. 8. Which adjective will best fit the sentence? Martin speaks English blank, then my friend. A better. B best. C good. D well. 9. Which adjective will complete the sentence, those shoes look blank, than the ones you wore yesterday? A new. B newer. C newest. D most newest. 10. Which of the following sentences contains an adjective in the superlative form? A. Your injury is worse than mine. B. She is not as mean as her older sister is. C. Mr. Brown is more boring than Mr. Phillips. D. This is the least exciting movie I've ever seen. Read the short story. Write the comparative or superlative degree of adjectives in your answer sheet. The Three Little Pigs Read the short story. Write the comparative or superlative degree of adjectives in your answer sheet. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three blank, one, little pigs who wanted to see the world. So, the three pigs traveled the world and they were the blank, two, happy pigs. They played the blank, three, 
Funny games all summer long but then came the autumn and each pig wanted to build a house. The first pig was not only the blank, four, small but the blank, five, lazy of all pigs. He quickly built the house out of straw. The second pig made his house out of wood which was blank, six, difficult than building a straw house. The third pig followed his mum's advice and built a strong house out of bricks, which was the blank, seven, difficult house to build. During the cold winter months, the three pigs had the blank, eight, wonderful time. One day, came a hungry wolf who wanted to eat the three pigs. The houses of the first two pigs were blank, nine, weak, then the house of the third pig, his house was the blank, 10. Strong. Because of this, the wolf was not able to get into the third pig's house. 